Good morning, everyone. I'm just gonna take a break from my current camping trip. Just kind of go over a product that I uh, picked up recently. Um, I haven't really seen many reviews on this, so I thought I'd just kind of give everyone a heads up. So what we're looking at is the Ozark Trail four-person hub tent. Now, there are a lot of tents out there, of course, that are like this, the Gazelle being the, the primary one, being the most popular hub tent. Um, I decided to get this one after looking at the features because, let's let's be honest here, the Gazelle is around, let's say, $400. This is our Trail I picked up through Walmart. Everyone's gonna, of course, kind of give a collective sigh, but it's really, um, Ozark Trail in the end, but yeah, for $150, I picked this up and thought I'd give it a run. So today I'll just go through some of the features and whatnot um, and tell you if it's a good deal or not. Now I, I'm going to do a shout out to um, Luke at Outdoor Gear Review and he's, uh, he's definitely going to be an expert on this. I'm going to try to message him to see if he'll do a true torture test as far as rain and water resistance, but uh, in the end, let's, uh, let's take a look at the Orzark Trail and see if it's something that's worth uh, worth using and even if it stacks up against the Gazelle T4. So the first thing you're going to see is it is a hub tent. Um, the hubs are on three sides. Um, the fourth side is actually just uh, supported by some internal poles. It kind of makes it nice because of course the door, it makes the door much larger. Anyone who's had the Gazelle knows that the door is pretty tight. Um, as we get closer, you got the rain fly set up. Um, on the floor here, there is a little area where you can, you know, kind of dust off your shoes and stuff like that. So it's kind of a nice feature. The door is protected. It's very large, but it is protected by a, by a covering. So water, it should help prevent some water intrusion. Let's just go inside really quick. What you're going to see with one of these style tents is it is very spacious. Now, four people is a little bit of a stretch in my mind. Um, I would say three people with gear, two cots with gear, but four people in a pinch. That's about it. All right. So the nice thing about these kind of tents is, of course, the height. You can stand in it. Most people, unless you're over, I would say, six and a half feet tall, would find this tent pretty comfortable to stand in. Unless you're, if you're anything like me, if you're getting older, you don't like bending over in a tent, especially when you're trying to get dressed. Um, let's go inside here really quick. Some of the other features you're going to see, um, it is vented at the top. Right here, there is a little bit of a little bit of a pouch that you can put stuff, lights, tablets, I suppose, anything like that. Um, smaller windows, that's kind of the thing about hub tents, but there are plenty of them. The other thing feature to note is there is a vent for the floor. That should help keep some of the draft in here to keep it cooler when necessary. Um, you're gonna see this random pouch here, another little feature. They seem to have plenty of storage pockets, so in addition to that, you have that. And then on the other side, you also have a storage, All right? You know, I know the Gazelle tent has a detachable floor, but this one does not have that, and that's fine. I don't know what the purpose of a detachable floor is. I suppose if you wanna just be on dirt or something like that, it's a great idea. Um, there are these neat windows, you know, mine are all kind of have moisture on them right now, but um, that does let some natural lighting in. Um, really, overall, the features are pretty good. I'm very satisfied with it. So let's talk about the pros. Pros are price, right? $150 out the door. It's on sale right now through Walmart, but you know what? I, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be the price for a while. Um, it's been like that for a few months. I've had this for a few months now. Uh, price is the biggest deal. now. Fit and finish, I mean, construction quality, it seems pretty good. I haven't seen any threads or anything at, like that point. But like, like I said, you know, I think Luke, any of the others that actually review this tent out in the field with rain and stuff like that, I haven't encountered rain with this yet, um, will tell you if it leaks a lot or not. I'm expecting it to leak a little bit, especially along like where the hubs are or maybe where some of the seams are. But to me, it's like I can deal with that. I can put some sealer on it if necessary. Um, other things... Pause note, you know, some of the features that they have as far as the little, even just little touches like the little floor mat are great touches in my mind. A lot of pouches, a lot of storage. Um, of course, it comes with, you know, little cheap tent stakes. 
comes with a nice large bag. So those are really the pros. Okay, let's take a moment to talk about cons. Well, the cons, it's an Ozark Trail, it's a Walmart brand. Now, of course, Ozark Trail themselves don't make their own equipment. They probably contract this out to someone, but in the end, it's still Ozark Trail. To me, for the money, it's actually not bad. I think it's uh, worth the, the, you know, the purchasing and see if you like it compared to paying over $400 for the Gazelle. Um, let's see, other cons, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's untested. Like, you know, I'll be honest with you, I've seen the test and even uh, Luke at Outdoor Gear Review has done a test on the Gazelle, it leaks. I can't imagine that this is immune from that either. Uh, we'll actually see how it holds up in real life. Um, see the other cons. One of the other cons I wanted to mention is actually the door. I like how the door is. I like how it's nice and large. Strangely enough, it's just a door. There's no screen for it. It's, it's one of those features that I guess from a cost cutting perspective, maybe they decide to ax it. But there is no screen for the door. In the area that I'm on, it's not a big deal because the bugs seem to be pretty minimal. Um, but other than that, I'd say the Ozark Trail gets a pretty good thumbs up in my book. Um, it's worth giving a try if you're on the fence about buying a hub style tent that's $400 plus. But for $150, I'd say it's a, it gives me a thumbs up so far. And I think all you should give it a try and see what happens. Thanks again. My name is Tony.